what's going on everybody this is anthony corns bringing you another vlogmas video and today we're talking about how to make your own uh, stream deck icons so uh, stream deck is a tool that you can use to control your live streaming and it looks like this and it has icons on top of it and then you can click either one of these icons and it will do a certain action. So I figured out a way to create my own icons and I'm going to show you how you can create your own. So let's go. Okay. So what we're looking at is the stream deck, uh, application, uh, which is on our Mac uh, computer. So if you're familiar with the uh, stream deck, then you're familiar with this panel right here. So what we're going to do is turn, um, this panel right here into this right here. So these are the custom icons that I made and I'm going to show you how I did those. I'm actually going to use a program called Photoshop, but I'm, before we do that, I'm going to show you a quick way that you can configure these icons. So let's go back to our, our new profile and I'm, I am making these, uh, icons for a program called Ecamm. If you're not familiar with Ecamm, it is a live streaming software. So I'm just going to drop a couple, uh, icons in here and let's see, stop sound and let's go view count. So as you can see, we have our play button. We have, uh, this is supposed to be the go live finish button, uh, stop sound and our view count button. So let's say I want to, um, change how this icon looks. So I would go ahead to this section right here. I would go to create new icon and now create new icon will bring up, uh, Elgato's website where you can, um, pre-make or kind of customize your own icons within Elgato's website. Um, it's a quick, easy way to just make something real quick and download it but I'm not going to use this method, but I'll show you really quickly how you can use this. So let's say, uh, you want to have, uh, a movie icon. So you can quickly, um, select some quick selections here and then go ahead and hit save key. And that will download this key, this, uh, design to your computer, but we're going to do a little bit more advanced method, which is using a tool called Photoshop. Now you can do this in your own, um, photo editing program of your choice, maybe Canva or something like that. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to stick to, uh, Photoshop. So let's go over here to Photoshop. And what I did was to get this, um, this layout, I went and I just grabbed, uh, an image that was downloaded from the Elgato website. So I they say, for example, I just took this and I click save and I grabbed that icon and I pulled it over into Photoshop and just gave it uh, a full color of my choice. And if you want, I, I do have, um, the template to this, um, in the description. And I will also give you a free pack of, the, the, uh, icons that you saw earlier, which is in the Ecamm style, uh, logo color. So I'll give you those for free. All you have to do is go in the description and download those. And it will also include the template that we're using here in this video. Okay. So if you're using my template, all you have to do is go into Photoshop and then you can change your icon color right here. So you go there. And then you simply just select which color that you want. And then you can click okay. And you can either put some text on top of theirs. So let's say if you want to name this, uh, let's change the color to that. Let's say you want to say this, it was a CTA or a call to action. You would just drop that text right on there. And it'll center it. 
And then what you want to do is take this and you want to export it as a PNG. All right, so you can go as you see, this is, this is the folder where I've saved all of my icons. You can change the name of this icon to CTA or whatnot, and then hit save. And then you can bring back up your stream deck, uh, software, go down to that drop arrow right here again. And then instead of selecting create new icon, you're going to select set from file. And then as you can see, the new icon that we just made is right there at the top. So you can go ahead and open and bam. So there is our CTA uh, call to action button. And then if you want to take the title down at the bottom off, you just go down here and uncheck show title. And then let's, so let's say if you don't want to do some text, you want to, um, maybe use an icon or something like that. So what I did was I found a free, uh, icon, uh, website, which is called icon founder, icon finder. And I went in and I just found a couple different icons that I liked. So let's say I want to find a video camera. We'll type that in and then we will just find one that we like. And I downloaded this icon as a uh, SVG. It's going to go down to our downloads folder. And then we're going to go back to Photoshop. And then we just want to pull in that icon that we just downloaded. And you want to give it a nice size. Uh, since our icons are so small, I'm going to make sure that we could see it properly and identify what it is. So let's say you wanted to change that, uh, color of this, uh, I, this, uh, icon here. So what we could do is make sure that's centered. Always make sure that your uh, icons are centered. So we're going to over here are our layers and I actually need to uh, go over this with you real quick. So, um, in our layers folder, we want to make sure that our icon that we're putting inside of here is on top of everything else. So if it's under the color, it won't be previewed and it won't be shown. So if you want to make sure that it is on top of, you can actually bring it on top of the, the do not delete folder, which I created for you guys. So if we double click on this icon here, it brings up this layer style uh, menu. And what we could do is if we select color overlay, as you can see, it's now black. I'm going to bring this to the side so you can see this. I will select this black box right here. It'll bring up a color palette. I can select the color that I want. And as you can see over in the background that the icon color has changed. So let's say I want to make it red. I want to make it a little yellow or something like that. I'm going to stick with white for now. Click OK there. Click OK on this on this uh, window. Then there you go. Our icon is now white. And once again, we want to go to export. If we're ready to save, you can go to quick export as a PNG. Everything needs to be saved as a PNG in order to work in the stream deck application. And then we'll just save this as test for now. Go ahead and save, go back to our stream deck application. And then we can go back in here. We can do the same thing for any of these. We can go here and we can set from file. And then we can select our test PNG that we just made. And there we go. Our icon is there. And then, like I said, we can go here and uncheck show title. And that will show our new icon without the um, text on the bottom. And as you can see on our stream deck here, this is how it looks. So we can, if you want to, you can go ahead and create some icons for any of these actions that you see here in the stream deck software. 
and I'm just going to show you what my layout looks like once you've done, or if you decide to download uh, the pack from um, my website, this is how it's going to look right here. And like I said, those are free to use. Um, you can go ahead and play around with them. Uh, if you have the PDF, I'm sorry, if you have the PSD file, you can absolutely go ahead and make changes or change your, make your own if you want to. All right, so that's how you create your uh, own Stream Deck icons. I hope that that is very helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. And like I said, I will leave a download link to uh, the pack that I made, the icon pack, where you can use those for your Stream Deck. And hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, give me a like, uh, reach out to me if you have any questions, and I will answer them as, to the best of my knowledge. All right, guys, that's another vlog. This video done. I will see you tomorrow.